I wish Amber was here for this next one, but this was uh, one of those bizarre stories that I found. Uh -huh. um, it said, my wife inherited $800,000. She put $300,000 towards our mortgage and $500,000 in her own bank account after 35 years of marriage. This dude's problem is that they've been married for 35 years. She just inherited $800,000, okay? And then she said that, you know, she'll put 300,000 towards the house. The house is $450,000. So she's only putting 300K, but then the rest she's putting in her personal bank account. So $500,000 in her personal bank account. And he said that I'm 65 and still work. By the way, this, is, this article is on Market Watch. Um, he said, I'm 65 and still work. I earn 130,000 a year and plan to continue to work for another five years as long as I'm good in health. My wife retired two years ago at age 59 working for 13 years and basically saying she raised the kids and this and that. He's upset because he said, we have no savings, no 401k, nothing. I paid for my kids' college education. We own one car outright. I have credit card debt of nearly $80,000. My wife has credit card debt of $2,800. Um, and then he said, I've been working since I was 16. So basically his problem is that he's been paying for everything like while he's working. And then finally, she gets a lot of a huge sum of money, almost a million dollars, almost a million dollars. Like, this and could take care of everything. Yeah, but she keeps it for. She's her own. keeping five hundred. Well, well, has he been paying thousand. it for everything though? He said college. Um, she's been what working? She was making twenty thousand dollars a year. He was making one hundred and thirty thousand, and she was at home helping raise uh, two children, who now have their who are now adults and have their own jobs. But basically, the thing the. The issue is that he has is that he's been paying and providing. And then we have this large sum of money. We supposedly have mm -hmm. a large sum of money now, but she's <laughs> saving 500000 <laughs> So, So let me give you some context on that because this sounds similar to my parents, right? Okay. So sure, he's covering like a lot of these bills and whatnot, but just because those are covered doesn't mean he's managing his money right. Like he's making one hundred thirty thousand dollars a year. He's in, he's eighty thousand dollars in debt. That tells me yeah. poor financial habits. How much you're making really is irrelevant, at, you know, at, at the point. Um, but he cannot be managing finances right. So the wife is like, okay, I don't trust him with all this money. So I'm gonna put the rest of this in my personal account so he can't, you know, run it into the ground. Because my parents were the same way. My dad lost like a lot of money growing up. Um, and my mom, the reason from like mismanagement, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, he, he, he do poor investments, poor, poor, <laughs> P-O-R. That's what I said. That's what I said. Um, he would make Can we play that back? bad financial <laughs> show decisions. The show the recap. Right. He'd Just make ba bad financial decisions and uh -huh. actually lose money. And it was my mom's like strict management of everything that we, we've been able to pay, you know, continue to pay the mortgage of the house, pay bills and everything. Um, and you know, uh, like, like he, he would just hand off thousands of dollars to people like, oh, you know, the stock market here, take it. And then he'd lose it. And then he'd do it again and again. Okay. And so, again. so that's a speculation. Mm -hmm. What would you, okay, Shami, you're in this situation. Say, I'm in this situation. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> He's like, wait, I'm not, no, I'm saying if you were in this situation, right. Yeah. You've been covering a bunch of, you know, bills and, you know, you're trying to make things work and you're basically on the edge. You have some money in debt. You're going to have to work basically the rest of your life. Yeah. And then your wife is like. Yo, Shimmer, I got a Millie. And you're like, thank God. And she's like, well, I'm going to put some towards the house, but then the rest I'm saving for myself. Yeah. What's your thought? I mean, I'm, I'm like, why? Like we have all this, you know, debt, everything. <laughs> like, So you're mad too. You're salty. I'd be mad, but uh, Isan brings a great point. Like, I feel like this dude's mad sketch. Okay. Like, so, I mean, if I was mad sketch, I'd be like, all right. But it, um, I read the article. Isn't he like thinking about divorce? Well, he said, what do you say about divorce? I think at the end or something. My he, wife gets a small pension and I will also get a pension. We also have, oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, but I think he was talking about that. And I was if like- If we divorce, will I have to pay her alimony? Oh. What does that mean exactly? Isn't that where she asks for a certain amount? Hassan, do you know? Um, alimony? Sorry, say that again. Alimony. At the divorce, she asks for a certain amount to keep her good. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so he's, he's asking, would I have to pay that if we do get a divorce? So that's why I feel like this yeah, is a sketch. Right. The the amount that he do like after the divorce. The, this no, the the sketchiest part is this article. Somebody like he wrote this article, and they have this miscommunication in general. Yeah, meaning like, um, they are in a situation where 
he has to resort to writing an article about his marriage. Yeah. Because of what he's going through. Also, like, you know, um, I feel like, yeah, the communication part, if the communication was good, right, there obviously would be some good balance of money and, you know, there'd be a purpose of why she's keeping it in her bank account. This makes me think also, like, you, this is a conversation you need to have, like, early on. Like, like oh, in the if marriage. you get a million dollars. Well, no, just in general, <laughs> like, how we're going to use our money, yeah, right? Yeah. Because also, at the end of the day, she has the right to do whatever she wants. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing he can do about that. He's just salty, so he's writing this article, but the article isn't going to do anything for him either. Yeah. Um, so it's like, you know, when when she is married and she's thinking like, you know, say the case is that he is mismanaging his money and she's using it in a certain way where she's like, you know what, like, I'm going to still do my thing and I'm going to make it work and whatever. And then you can't take into account, you can never take into account what if we get this much money. Mm -hmm. That's never going to be a case where you're just like, what if we just hit the jackpot? Yeah. Um, but that's what divides people. You know, you you hear these stories of people who win um, the lottery and then most of them end up really in horrible situations because yeah. they, Amber, what? Can you speak into the mic then? Yes. What? Can somebody just explain to me what she's saving $500,000 for? I think for security after. Like retirement you don't need five hundred thousand dollars worth of security. It doesn't. No. How much do you need? I mean, I would say like you would have more security investing it into places and having actual. And they have no investments. If you invest it, then you have the like the likelihood of you being able to have that security is a lot greater than just having cash money. And I think that's what she's gonna Amber, do. Amber, oxy is not cheap. Yeah. All right, you need the five hundred k. Yeah, right? I think that's what she's gonna do because this man has no four hundred one k. He has no pension. Obviously, he has not saved yeah. money. I just didn't like how it um, said that it was five hundred thousand dollars in her personal savings. Like, what are you personally saving? I like I like her. For? I'm with her because I don't like this man's energy. Yeah. To be honest, I mean, that's like. Uh, my wife got all this money and she's not using it to take me out of debt. Plus, Shut up. Plus, what if that's not really, you know, I guess kind of like what you were saying, Amber, is like that probably already is being invested in stuff. He just doesn't know about well, it. So he's a, getting she, salty. She already paid about, off a huge liability. Um, right. So um, he should be thankful in that sense. But, yeah. that, but apparently that's not enough. Also, we only know his perspective. What yeah. if she's like, she's oh, like, oh yeah, I'm trying to buy Gucci. He's a horrible human being. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I only stayed married to him because of our kids. Like, again, this is more speculating, but the point is we hear his perspective here and this money came out of nowhere. What were you doing before that? Yeah. You need to get it together. Yeah. So, le so let me flip this on you. What if like, she's already planning for a divorce Ooh, and then, and, like then that. and then that way she's Actually, gonna be like, know. you can't come at me because I paid off more than half of what we owe on the ogage. So if this is, if this is like toxic, if she's a toxic person, I think like gone girl type, one. yeah. you know, the gone girl lady who I, like, I haven't seen that movie, but oh, you need to watch it. Bro. Yeah. I heard it's good. Ben Affleck. Yeah, I heard it's good. It's a good movie. Um, yeah, she was a psychopath. What if, like, if she's this way, she was waiting for that inheritance. Like, she she knew it was going to kick in at some point, and then she's like, "What now?" But she paid so I much for the house. I don't believe that. Like, if it was like, yeah, but, oh. but but just enough that there's still <laughs> it doesn't pay it off. <laughs> yeah, that's funny though. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> like she's, I mean, like, oh, it, it, so it sounds like a, you know, like a trap card to have in your pocket, you know, at the divorce. But like, oh, yeah, you want to see what I contributed? Bam, you can't have nothing to this because mm. can't have my money. 